that sent me. And we see this Jesus. We see this Jesus. The one who is on the cross, who's drinking the vinegar. Guess what he said in John 15 and 1, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. He said, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you could ask what you will, and it would be done of you. He said, I chose you, and I appointed you that you should go and bring forth much fruit, and that your fruit will remain this same Jesus that said, it is finished. This Jesus that's hanging out on the cross, and I'm sure he had hungered while he was out there on the cross, yeah. was the same Jesus that said, I am the bread of life. Yeah. If any man hunger, let him come unto me yeah. and eat. Yeah. 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 This same Jesus who is thirsty said, whoever drinks of the water that I shall give yeah. will never thirst again. Yeah. 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 This same Jesus, uh -huh. the one who is about to go into the grave, the one who is about to experience death, is that same Whoever believes in me uh -huh. shall live uh -huh. and shall never die. Yeah. You can find that John 11, yeah, yeah, yeah. verses 25 and 26. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is finished. Yes, yeah. he cried. It is finished. Yeah. But the question is, what was finished? Yeah. Well, if we go down through the annals of time, uh -huh. we'll see that certain things were prophesied of Jesus before he came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'll see that even though he walked here, uh -huh. those prophecies came into being. You've heard a few of them this morning before I even came up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we see him at the ninth hour, and it's really dark right now. Uh -huh. We see him trying to push up on his feet uh -huh. and gasp for air at this oh, yeah. last minute while he's crying out, it is finished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as we look at him, there still remains for him to be pierced in his side. Uh -huh. There still remains for him to have had his hands and his feet pierced. Yeah. There still remains for the preserving of his bones being unbroken because you do know that the psalm writer said in Psalm 22 that not a bone in his body shall be broken. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is finished. Well, what is finished? Uh -huh, uh -huh. The sacrificial work. Yeah. that he came to do out on Mount Calvary's cross. Yeah, yeah, and as we look at it, we have to understand that every word that was written of him up until this point had been fulfilled. Yeah, 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 yeah. The thing that should have been fulfilled, and let me take you for a little walk right quick, and we're going to come back to it is finished. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It was prophesied that he would be the woman's seed. Yeah. It was fulfilled yeah. in Genesis 2.15. Yeah. That he would be born of a woman, Galatians 4 and 4. Yeah. That his mother would be a virgin was prophesied in Isaiah chapter 7, but it was fulfilled in Matthew chapter 1. Okay. That he was the seed of Abraham was spoken in Genesis 22 and 18. Yeah. Yeah. That he would be made known that he would come up through the lineage of David was spoken in 2 Samuel chapter 7, but it came to pass over in Romans chapter 1 and verse 3. Yeah. That he should be named before he was born was in Isaiah 49 and verse 1, but it came to pass in Luke chapter 1 and verse 30. Yeah. That he should be born down in Bethlehem in a stable was prophesied in Micah chapter 5 and verse 2. Uh -huh. Had his prophecy that his birth should bring sorrow uh -huh. was spoken of by Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 15. Yeah. But it came to pass in Matthew chapter 2 verses 14 and 15. Okay, yeah. It was said that he would come down through the line of the tribe of Judah. Yeah. And guess what? Yeah. Judah was still operating at the time of the crucifixion. Yeah. I want you to know it was not yet finished. Yeah, yeah. said had he prophesied that there would be a flight from Egypt yeah, yeah. To, for him to go to Egypt and stay there until Herod was dead. Yeah, yeah. It came to pass in Matthew chapter 2. Yeah. The prophecy made mention that someone would come but, and, and open the way for Christ. Yeah, yeah. And we see it fulfilled in the person of John the Baptist. Yeah, yeah. For he said, Behold, the one that taketh away the sins of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we see that it was fulfilled in the Bible in Isaiah 61 that when he would come, he would open blinded eyes. Yeah, yeah. That he would open and unstop deaf ears. Yeah, yeah. It was said that the lame would stand up and walk. Yeah, yeah. That the dumb would stand up and talk. Yeah. And then if we go down through the elders of time, he said he would preach yeah. 
to the poor and he will preach through the needy. Yes. His prophecy also said that he was speaking parables and everywhere he taught, he taught a language that everybody could understand. Yes. If you, if he needed to get a word to you about sowing the seed, he talked to the farmer because the farmer knows how to go out and break up the ground, till the ground, take the weeds out and plant the seed. And he said, all my seeds I sow, if it's planted on good ground, is going to bring forth much fruit in my life. All right, they prophesied that he would be despised uh -huh. of men. Yeah. They prophesied that he would also be rejected. Yeah. They prophesied that he would be hated without a cause. Yeah. And they prophesied that he would bear degradation and sin in his body on the tree for you and me. Yeah. It was already prophesied that one of his best friends uh -huh. would deny him. Yeah. Huh. That one of his best friends would lie on him and have him led to the slaughter as a man. Come on, preacher. It was prophesied that he would be taken from judgment hall to judgment hall. Yeah. It was prophesied that he would be found to be what an innocent man. Yeah. But still in all found and innocent, they said, crucify him. Crucify him. Yeah. Oh, yes. He said, it is finished. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, what was finished? Well, let me help you out. Yeah. What was finished at the cross was the atonement that he paid yeah. for you and I. Yeah. The Bible says they pierced him in his side and the blood came streaming down. That blood that filled the earth was for you. That blood was for me that would take away our sins. Isaiah said, come, let us reason together. Though our sins be as scarlet, he can wash them up whiter than snow. My brothers and sisters, the songwriter said, whiter than snow? Whiter than snow. He washed me whiter than snow. He said it is finished. Yeah. What is finished? Not only were we redeemed by the blood, but guess what? Uh -huh. When he went down into the pits of hell, uh -huh. he went down and took the keys of hell and death from Satan himself. What was finished? We no longer have to be slaves to Satan anymore. Because he's alive, we are alive. Yeah. We understand that when he said it is finished, yeah. I'm going to prove of hell and death. I'm going to rise with all power in heaven and earth in my hand. The Bible says when he got up, we don't have to die no more. When he got up, we don't have to be poor anymore. When he got up, we don't have to fall into sin anymore. There's a writer that says he died on the cross. The nation says every man who hangs on the tree is cursed. So he took the curse in his body for poverty, yeah. he gave me wealth. Yeah. For sickness, yeah. he gave me health. Yeah. For death, yeah. he gave me eternal life. Yeah. All my brothers and sisters, yeah. he said it is finished. Yeah. Do you believe that he said it's finished? Yeah. Do you believe that he purchased your sin death? Yeah. Do you believe that he made a way for you to come back to Christ? He said it's finished. Yeah. He brought peace. 